Tuesday at the New York Capitol, some advocates and lawmakers are pushing for compromise legislation towards the carve-out pharmacy benefits for a Medicaid program. Our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein speaks to lawmakers about where they see this fight headed next. In the spirit of the holiday, some lawmakers and advocates traveled to Albany to deliver a giant valentine to the governor, pushing for a compromise against the carve-out of pharmacy benefits from NYRX, a Medicaid program. The carve-out would essentially limit funding for safety net providers who provide health care to state residents regardless of their ability to pay. And some advocates feel strongly that this change to the Medicaid program will directly harm New York communities, particularly for those living with HIV and AIDS. This change on April 1st is going to directly lead to deaths in New York State. The carve-out originated in the legislature's 2020 state budget and essentially transitions enrolled Medicaid members from Medicaid manager care plans to fee-for-service programs. The 2020 proposal delayed implementation for two years. It expires this upcoming April. Senator Gustavo Rivera says this change to the Medicaid program was proposed originally in an effort to try and save the state money, but many New Yorkers could suffer because of it. The impact that it would have on the providers who use this program as a way to save money and more importantly, invest those savings into the lives of vulnerable populations. While other lawmakers say this change is an effort to try and increase transparency. This is an attempt to really restart the conversation to make sure that every individual, regardless of what disease they may or may not have, is all treated fairly and equitably. And at the same token, driving the resources, saving resources so the state can reinvest it in these safety net providers. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.